Hey everybody, hey, what's up everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people, coming to you live, House of X Entertainment presents, it's me, Watson, yes, honey, coming to you now live, what's up Twitter family, what's up YouTube family, what's up Facebook family, and my Instagram peoples, what you guys doing out there, it's me, Watson, yes, honey, it's now live. What's up, Twitter family? What's up, YouTube family? What's up? Hey, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys, to another amazing Cook With Me, guys. So today I am doing a recreation video from Living Life with Lisa Lisa. I saw this video on her channel, and I wanted to try it out. And I wanted to see how it tastes and everything. So it is the lasagna chicken alfredo roll up. Um, it was something that she saw on TikTok, and I wanted to try it out and see how it tastes. All right, guys. So let's get into it. Also, make sure you check out Living Life for Lisa's channel. She has Living Life for Lisa Lisa. Also, at home with Lisa Lisa. Okay. The links and everything is in the description. So now what we're going to do is wash our hands for disclaimer. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and clean our chicken. So I have some vinegar here. All right. How's your guys' day going? I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Alright, so I got some vinegar there. Okay. Okay, so this is our chicken breast. So you want to make sure there's no yucky stuff on your chicken breast. Okay. Alright. So I'm just taking off the fat off the chicken breast. I'm just using two. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to first fry this and then we're going to, um, I could just use the other one, but it's okay. Maybe I should use it. It's fine. Hold on, guys. Let me get the other one. Yeah. One second. Okay, so I got some onion powder. 
All right. So we're gonna season that with some onion powder, some paprika. We got some black pepper, some garlic powder. Okay. And then I got some adobo seasoning. Okay. So we're just gonna season this all together. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're gonna season that all together. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put some water in this pan here for our lasagna pasta, guys. This is the lasagna I'm using pasta. Now we're not gonna cook these to like tuition. You just wanna get them very mild, um, very mild cook because we are um, baking it. So you want it not half done, but medium done because we are baking them. So the oven will do the rest of the cooking for you. You just wanna get it done so that you can roll it Okay, guys. So what we're gonna do is put it on our fire over here. Add a little bit of um oil in our water. And once it starts to boil, like you see the steam, we're gonna we're gonna put our pasta in here. So let's just add some olive oil into this skillet. You want to put maybe about two or three cups of olive oil into your skillet. All right, I'm bringing you guys over here in just one moment. Okay. All right. All right, so you guys can see this. All right, so this is our skillet pan right here. We have have our, our skillet pan and this is our um order for our pasta okay so we're just letting that sit i'm gonna put my chicken in right now okay In the meantime, 
Let's check on our chicken. So we're going to turn it to the other side. So the chicken is going to take um, a while for it to be cooked. That is very thick. So I'm going to show you guys in just a moment. It's going to take a while for your chicken breast to cook because it is um, very thick pieces. Okay? So now that we have our um, our minced garlic in there, our olive oil in there. So what we're going to do now is I did see that she added some spinach, some fresh spinach to her her ingredients. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to chop this up. Okay. I'm going to chop it up. Okay. And I'm going to toss it into the pan here. All right. So that it can simmer. All right. I just, I like to wash my um, fresh vegetables, guys. So, so we're chopping this up, guys, into our pot here. However you want to chop it and turn, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. You want to make sure it's a nice simmer and then so that the spinach can um, marinate. Okay. All right, the rest of this is in the pan. Doesn't look too good to me, so I'm not using it. That is our spinach. All right. Now, we're going to come back over here. And as you can see, our spinach is marinating here. Okay. It's marinating. So it's on a low fire, guys. Low fire for this. Low fire. All right. And let's check on our chicken. All right. Low fire. Okay. So now. The next thing that we're going to add um, is I'm using some evaporated milk, not a lot. All right, evaporated milk, carnation. Um, is we're only going to add maybe about 
a half or three quarters of bread in here. Okay. Now, this is my sugar cookie. So they use some, um, I think it was whipping cream. I think it was. I'm using evaporated milk. So, so we're not going to use a lot. So for this, I'm using my judgment with this. Okay. All right. And the next thing is we're just going to make sure that we mix it around a little bit. Okay. Mix it around. As you guys can see. And then what we're going to do is Okay, what we're gonna do is start to add a little bit of our um, Fredo sauce. I'm using the Fregos, the Fregos Alfredo sauce. So we're gonna add in our Alfredo sauce. Okay. All right. We're gonna start to mix that. And it should come to a nice thicken. All right. If you want to go ahead and taste it, you can. Okay. All right, it should come to a nice thickening. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of garlic to this, garlic powder. And some onion powder, okay, all right, and then I have another batch of, um, what should I say here, um, Alfredo sauce, so I'm just going to put a little bit, because so we're going to need some for the pan, okay, so that was about a cup and a half. So we're mixing again, guys. So you want to make sure they got nice thickness to this. All right. A nice thickness. Okay. So far, it's tasting very well. Let's check our chicken. And again, if you see that you need more oil for your, um, your chicken, you can put some. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is, guys, um, we're just going to let this simmer for a minute. But this is our sauce that we need for our Alfredo. I'm going to add one egg. Okay. Hold on, guys. Handful of the mozzarella. 
tank. So we're gonna mix that in. Alright. Mix this in all together. And again, if you want to add some butter to, you can. Just for flavor. Okay. Alright, it's almost time to put in our pasta. Okay, this is all, all coming together and it tastes very well. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add a, one thing of butter also for our pasta over here. Because I like my pasta to taste like something. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to put in the lasagna noodles. Alright, and for the lasagna noodles, we just stick them and let them cook. Alright guys, so you don't bend these or you'll be in trouble. Alright, you just stick them and let them cook like this. Um, yeah, just stick them and let them cook. Okay, Ooh, this is a lot of pasta. Okay. I think that's good for now. You don't want to put too much in the pan. Okay. Alright. That's it for now. We'll do the rest in a minute. Okay. Alright guys. So this is done. We're going to set this aside. Alright. As you can see we got our cheese all up in there. Our spinach. I should have added some broccoli to this. But no that's too much. Maybe. What y'all think? Yeah, that's too much. It would be good though. Maybe. But the spinach is okay. And this tastes good by fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so our um sauce is done. So we're gonna move it and let's move our our chicken over here. Turn that fire off. Alright, so the longest is your chicken and your pasta that's going to take the longest, guys. So, what we're going to do is, um, once our chicken and our pasta is done, we'll come back and then we will start to roll our lasagna noodles and shred our chicken and put it in the oven. Alright, guys? Okay guys, so we're back. Um, I went ahead and shredded our chicken, our chicken breast. And then now I decided to do some broccoli. You know, <clears throat> I wanted to add some broccoli. So we're gonna mash this up. All right, you wanna get it nice. Okay, our pasta is done. So what I'm gonna do here on this plate, guys, 
you want to add just a little bit of olive oil so that your pasta do not stick. Okay? So that your pasta don't stick. And we're going to get a little brush here. And we're just going to put it around our plate so that our pasta don't stick. Okay, guys? All right. So we got our pasta, okay? All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is with our pan over here, as you can see we have our aluminum pan. Let's turn on our oven to about 350, 400. And we're gonna use a nice little um, baking cup. And we're gonna go in and put some of our sauce to the bottom of our pan, okay? Some of the sauce to the bottom of your pan, okay? All right, some of the Alfredo sauce to the bottom of your pan, and we're gonna take our, br uh, our brush and just spread it around, okay? All right, let's do some more of the sauce, okay? All right, leave your spoon and everything out because you're gonna need it for, um, okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to put, um, we're gonna do our, Salt first. Oh, we can turn this off. Okay, so let's do our. We're gonna put our chicken, cheese, and sauce. All right, guys. Chicken, cheese, sauce. Okay, so let's do our chicken. All right. Um. Okay, so now we're putting our sauce on. Okay. All right. Let's get our you want to do a sprinkle of the mozzarella and a sprinkle of the parmesan. Okay. All right. So now we're going to try to our best to roll this. Okay. Without it. Um, coming out. Okay. All right. And okay. There we have it. That's the first one. Okay. Let's do the next one. So you want to try to get it in the middle and put the sauce on, put the chicken sauce on, sauce, sauce, okay, and we're going to put our cheese on. Okay, we got our cheese on. Again, you want to gently roll them. Okay. 
okay? Now make sure it's compact, okay? There we have it. Now we're gonna do the next one. All right. Same thing, guys. Same thing. So you wanna try to stick in the middle of the pasta. And you need that other part for rolling. Okay. And we wanna put the sauce. We're going to sauce it, and we're going to cheese it. Miss Mary, are you done? What happened? You were over here talking and you made me lose my train of thought. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> we rolling. We shaking. We riding dirty. Okay, guys. So here we go. We got our chicken here. All right. Okay. All right, guys, so we're riding dirty. Before we put in our um, chicken, okay? Before we put our, our 
lasagna in the oven. Okay, because we're not going to be here all day. Okay. I know you guys are like, why did you just put the cheese and not the sauce? Really, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can do it both ways. Either way. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Alright. So, now guys, what we're going to do for this part is we're going to sprinkle some sauce over this. Okay. All right, we're gonna sprinkle some sauce over this. All right. Okay. And then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top. cheese and then some more cheese. This is parmesan. Okay. Alright. So that is what you do before you toss it into the oven. Alright guys? So we're gonna finish up here and then we're gonna place this in the oven. Alright guys? Okay guys, so we're back. As you can see, our lasagna chicken alfredo rolls are done. We're going to get a spatula to take them out. All right. So we're going to go from the back. See how nice and cheesy it is. We're going to place it like that. All right. Okay. And let's just put some parsley on the top. And there we got it, guys. Chicken Alfredo lasagna roll-up, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. See, guys? All right, recreation. The original video is on Living Life for Lisa Lisa's channel. All right, guys. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell on all so you always be notified each time I upload or each time I go live. Remember to pray for those that you see and pray for those that you don't see. Love you guys. What's up, Twitter family? What's up, YouTube family? What's up?